Hi there, in this video we will solve this 8th grade math olympiad question. Let's read the question. A, B, C, D is a rhombus and B, F, E is a right angle. What is the area of rhombus? Before we start our solution, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's get started. So we are given the side lengths of the triangle and the rhombus. So the rhombus has all sides equal. So the side length of the rhombus 8. This side is also 8. This is a right angle here as well. This is right angle here as well since it's in the same line and this is vertical line and these are all right angles. This means this is a height of the rhombus so we can call it H. This length will be used for finding the area of the rhombus. So what is the area of the rhombus? Base times height. So the base is acting like is H. So we need to find the H here. So to find H, we will use two concepts in this question. First, similarity of triangles. We can see that we have a triangle here, BFE triangle and ADE triangle. So these are, these triangles look similar. Why? Because they share an angle here. Since this is a rhombus, this side length here, this perpendicular line is also parallel to this side length and therefore this is also right angle here since we have parallel lines and we have common line and also this long side they uh they share this uh, this line segment as well therefore we have one to two ratio similarity with this triangle so this side length is similar to this long side length and this side length here is similar to this side length here which is half of it this side length right here must be similar to this whole side length so whatever we find here basically this side length is going to be the same as this side length so how can we find this side length here if i call this x so i can use another uh, concept pythagorean theorem in this question so pythagorean theorem says that square of the hypotenuse must be equal to sum of the squares of the other perpendicular line so this is a perpendicular line 4 and x is also a perpendicular line x square plus 4 square must be equal to 8 square 8 square plus 16 equals 64 so we subtract 16 from both sides x square is equal to 48 and x is square root of 48 if you simplify this we can write this you can factor this as 16 times 3 so we can get 16 out of the square root as 4 times square root of 3 x is 4 times square root of 3 so this is the important information because h is also 4 times square root of 3 so we can plug this h value the value of h is 4 square root of 3 we know the base value it is 8 so area will be 8 times 4 square root of 3 and the total area will be 32 square root of 3 as a result so this is our solution i hope you like this question and you enjoyed the solution please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video please hit the like button and i will see you in the next video bye